Hey guys, Ray from LoveyRV.com back here again with another RV product review, this time the WineGuard Connect 2. So um, about a year and a half ago I installed the WineGuard Connect version 1 and I've had it on the RV, um, used it quite often. We use it here when we're spending summers um, in Campbell River and I'm able to to pick up some uh, city Wi-Fi that's just on the fringe and it uh, really helps boost it and and send it to all the devices in the rig so I've been quite happy with it. I've also used it at casinos and different campgrounds to boost the the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> this new model though also does 4G LTE and Wi-Fi. Um, it comes in two versions. There is a, a Wi-Fi only version but the version I I got is the 4G LTE plus Wi-Fi. So it'll be able to sign up to a, a cell phone plan and also receive uh, cellular data when we when we can't get free Wi-Fi. So that's really cool. Um, let's unbox it and see what's inside. I know they've got done quite a bit of improvements just uh, by looking online there. Um, their version one had a few uh, few drawbacks and I think they've really uh, really uh, in, really looked at that and came up with a better better unit this time. Okay here we go all unboxed. There's the main part of the unit. This is actually everything other than a few bits and pieces. The other one was split into two things. They had a row they had a, a three antenna um, amplifier on the roof and then they also had a uh, amplifier router inside the rig and you had to connect the two. It looks like now what they've done is put everything in one package. So you mount this on your roof, it's super uh, lightweight, there's hardly anything to it. <laughs> Must be like 2-3 pounds. And there's four, uh, four mounting uh, legs there. And then all you have to do is run the single wire into your RV. It's like they give you a little plate there to uh, run it through the wall of the RV or wherever, through the roof, wherever, wherever you choose. And then you run there's another wire to hook up and you can see there's a set of uh, positive and negative wires here that will hook to a switch just like that so you have to find uh, 12 volt power somewhere and then you're good to go they even give you a little wall plate for the switch so they made it a lot simpler and also they've made it run off of 12 volts that was a problem with the early one ran off of 24 volts or you had to use an AC adapter which was kind of a pain for off-grid and boondocking. I had to end up installing a DC to DC converter that converted 12 volts to 24 so they could run it off-grid. But I like this, they've made it run off of the the RV's power system and they really simplified things. Got rid of those uh, three antennas that maybe would catch branches and bust off. This is a little, little bit better, a little bit smoother, so less likely to be a problem on the roof. Um, I noticed they've also uh, reduced the price quite a bit. <clears throat> this one goes for, I think, 3 or 350 uh, The The, the Wi-Fi only now goes for around 200 compared to before it was up near 500 So I think they've listened to the feedback of all the the RVers and really came up with a, a lot better package. It's looking close here. Let's see right in here there's a, a spot in there with a SIM card so you can purchase the the WineGuard's uh, system. I think they use Verizon and AT&T. I was reading in the book here and uh, you can go pay as you go through them or you can swap in a, a, a different uh, provider SIM if it's compatible so that's pretty cool so what I'm gonna do is uh, because I have my other one wired in I'm gonna kinda wire this one up there kind of in a temporary manner just so that I can test it all out for you guys and see how it performs compared to my uh, version 1 that I have up there right now so I'll uh, go through and uh, get that hooked up and then we can uh, we can go through uh, the setup screens on the computer, get you a look at uh, what the software looks like. Oh, up on the roof. Not a bad roof view. Hey, pretty good. It's the RV park we're camped at on in Campbell River. 
right on the Discovery Passage, right on the ocean. Gotta love it. So, there's the, the version 1 that I mounted a year and a half ago there. This one mounts much the same, same instructions basically as that one. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see the install and review of that. What I'm going to do with this uh, unit, the new unit, is I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to drill any holes in my RV at this point. I'm just going to have it for uh, testing, see if I want to keep it or not. If I really like it, I might swap, swap the unit in place for that. But uh, this one, I just need the, the single cord that runs down there. And I'll be able to run it inside the RV. That'll be good enough for testing the next uh, few weeks. They've given me a, a 30 day uh, plan on their, their cell plan for me to test the 4G as well as the Wi Fi. So there we go. Let's go in and hook her up. Angie, someday you're going to have to come up on the roof and take a look, Angie. It's really cool up there. Okay. So, like I said, I'm just going to do it temporary for now. I've just run it in through the corners, a little hole in the corner of my slide for that wire, and then ran it around my TV. And all I've done is just place on a uh, a cigarette style adapter so that I can grab 12 volts. That's what you have to do. You have to find somewhere in your rig where you can run 12 volts to the switch, but this will just be a temporary measure. That should power it up. Like I say, here's the hardware they give you. So what you would do is you would run the black and red wire in and you would find power and ground from your RV and you would take the black wire and put that to ground with that uh, butt connector and then you would take the, the power wire from inside the RV 12 volts and the one coming from the, the wine guard up on the roof butt connect them crimp them and then put them on the switch and then mount that somewhere so a very simple install and they give you all the, the mounting screws for everything some zip ties, stuff like that. So, well, let's get to the computer and we'll, we'll have a look at uh, the software setup on it. Get this thing going. See how it's going to perform. Okay, so to access the WineGuard Connect software and control panel, you just open up a web browser and you put the number 10.11.12.1 in the the browser address button hit enter and you'll get this screen so it's now it's connected to the the wine guards router and we can log in um, they have a, a default password um, they want you to change it so you don't want everybody knowing your default password so I've already changed that so we'll hit continue and this will bring up a, a screen like this your status screen and uh, so there's several boxes here to go through there's your internet status. You can see right now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I'm connected to what's called Shaw Open. People over in uh, Western Canada will recognize that. It's one of the free uh, Wi-Fi hotspots we can connect to if we have a, a Shaw cable account. Um, connect st antenna status connected through Raven. Um, you'll see when you first come here, it'll be <clears throat> some kind of gobbledygook wine guard and a bunch of numbers. So you want to change that too. Uh, Wi-Fi signal 71%. Um, it's showing uh, L 4G LTE signal at 72% because I have the one that that can also connect through the the cell system. So we're in Wi-Fi only. So the first thing uh, you'll want to do is uh, change your passwords there. So down here, you'll see an uh, a drop down box and you can access different things local network settings advanced settings data plan update software support about so let's go to advanced settings and up here you can see administration change passwords so that I changed that already but that's the first thing they want you to do on this events settings screen you'll see a cellular provider um, mine set up to the the standard WineGuard system that they offer, so that's why it says WineGuard. If you had 
change the SIM card in the device. You could you could be on your own cellular provider if they're compatible. Um, network activity, you'll see connected devices here on my uh, my different things that are connected up um, and the connected networks. So let's just go back to the status screen here and I'll show you how to change the name of the the antenna name of our local area network here um, that's under local area networks select yeah so I changed mine here local network SSID to Raven um, and I put in my own password that's where you want to change the default stuff that it comes with um, you can change the security type there's a few different ones there and down here you can also enable a guest network there's that kind of wine guard guest gobbledygook thing and uh, you want to if you enable that you're going to want to change it to something that you could give people so if you want to give a neighbor or another person visiting access you don't have to get them on your main your main uh, local area networks so it's sort of for security you can enable a guest network to share Go back here and we'll just give you another look at these screens we'll look at the update software screen next <clears throat> and here you can check for the latest version of the software so it can be updated over the internet um, uh, if they come up with new features or there's any bugs they can they can fix that in my past one my on my original connect I've done that several times seen new versions of software come and it's kind of helped uh, sometimes new things appear in the screen when they update things um, new modem software same thing and here you can restore your back to factory settings go back and we'll take a look at the data plan page here we go so like I say if you have this version um, I'm on a trial version here that they gave me so it's using trial version and you can see it'll show how much data you have left how much you've used total amount there's the carrier and it also will give the the sim ID down there um, so let's just go and check out this subscription here I've already uh, signed up on here for uh, the wine guard account so let's log in so you can see there's a, a place here to buy plans um, it's showing US only plan 10 gigabytes sixty five dollars which is actually really good when I use my my uh, pay-as-you-go Verizon hotspot I'm gonna get for a hundred bucks I get 10 gigabytes um, and then down here if you're using US and Canada plans the price is a bit higher but still 20 gigabytes for 150 is not too bad for a pay-as-you-go plan so it you know expires every 30 days which is ideal for snowbirds you can go down there and let it expire and then you're not paying month to month just when you use it or if you're in a, an RV park you're getting good Wi-Fi you don't need to buy it so that's pretty cool and here's sort of their coverage looks like they have pretty decent coverage especially in the east holy cow it's almost solid so there you go let's see what else we got here scan for Wi-Fi I'll just show you that button so you just hit when you're first setting up you hit this button and it'll scan all the the area around you and see what kind of Wi-Fi access access points are available it usually takes you know 10 or 15 seconds for it to complete its scan there we go yeah so you can see it found quite a few actually open networks around here um, I'm on the the Shaw open one here so 68 percent says signal strength below 50 percent is not recommended and if you you want to refresh you can hit refresh sometimes you you discover other ones usually sometimes I'll hit refresh a few times just to make sure yeah there we go and even as a box down here for a hidden network so if you know the name of a hidden network you can also find it 
So let's just switch over to the 4G cell. Let's click there and click select. And the thing should uh, pick up the, the cell network and change things over for me. It says waiting for 4G LTE, Weingart Connect Data Plan. Reestablishing connection. Connecting to 4G. There we go, connected to 4G. So let's go see see how it works here. We'll try one of my favorite sites. There we go. That loaded that pretty good. Okay. Sweet. Let's check the data plan. Yeah, now we've used 21 megabytes, so we were uh, connected through the 4G. Yeah, I like that feature. <clears throat> I think we might uh, be using that this trip down south. Just switch back to uh, Wi-Fi again. I guess the no internet one is if you if you want to use it as a router only. So now we're just waiting to reconnect to Shaw Open there. So it takes maybe 20 seconds or so to connect back and forth. Cool. Well, I'm going to go through and test this puppy over the next few weeks, and uh, and then I'll come back with a full review. Um, all my opinions about it and uh, give that to you. I just wanted to give you a, a quick look at it and a quick look at the install and, and what it's all about in this video. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers folks.